got a sample loaded um, this So normally I'd record that in off my phone, I'd go to my phone and record it in, but as it's already in there, this is how I would chop it. So it'd be recorded in, save it, and then I decide if I want to chop it by the beats or by bars or if it's not like a easy loop like this then and there's like bits that aren't going to be so on beat or there's just little sounds here and there that you want to take you have to decide if you're gonna take them bits or chop it on beat or by the bar so with this because it's quite straightforward I'd probably chop the beats at the moment I'm in the trim mode so I'm going to hit it to turn it to chop and I'm going to start chopping there we go, we got our 16 um, now you could clean it up here but I don't know sometimes I do sometimes I don't bother cleaning up sometimes I'll I'll clean it up once I've made the program so uh, if I was to clean it up here I'd do it like this I would zoom in hit each pad and just adjust the start if you hold shift and press zero snap it makes life a little bit easier Um, and I only really adjust the starts because they're still linked together at the moment. So that if you zoom out, you can see that if if I adjust the start of six, it will adjust the end of five. So. So you could have, you could, hold on, we've got a, a rogue, right here. So, I could have just done here. Adjust them like that. So now they're all a bit more cleaned up. Sometimes I don't bother. Sometimes I'll chop them like this, and then I'll instantly hit Shift Convert, and then go to New Drum Program using Slices. I've tried some of these others, uh, and so far the only one that works with the way I do it is New Drum Program using Slices. And then select Slice Type. So I never use non-destructive, I use pad parameters. They're the only two choices. Uh, non-destructive, if you use it and you say you've got one chop that you want to copy over to another pad, but add like an, an effect to it or filter it or something, just so it's slightly different. If you have chose this as non-destructive slice whatever you do to the copied pad will ha will be the same on the original and vice versa so I use pad parameters because then you can uh, change the pads individually like change the start positions and stuff and it won't affect the others and if you copy a pad and you add any effects or whatever to it you can you don't have to worry about messing it up.
Uh, so yeah, new drum program using slices and then pad parameters, and that's done. So that's that sample chopped and made into a drum program. So what I'd normally do is I'd normally would have recorded in either different parts of the whole song and then extracted out sections that I wanted. So here, when I go back to trim, it's gonna give me, because I've sliced it, it's gonna give me the slices here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put that back to all and then up here, that's where you would go through the samples that you are gonna slice up. So as I've already sliced that, if I wanted to look through the slices for whatever reason, I could go through here. I just put it back to all so it keeps it a bit organized. So now I've made this group, which is gonna be in the drum programs, which is there. So now the way to go from the way I go from there is I normally would open up the I'd hit menu and open up program editor that's the drum program and I would probably play around with uh, pick the shift tuning it up and down so I can see kind of where I want to go with it and because up here it says master so anything I affect on this row here will happen to all of the pads so I'm going to Go down minus three where I normally go. See, because I, I like it slow down most of the time. So I'd probably go from minus three. Or this one sounds all right at normal. So yeah, so anything you affect here in, in the master section will affect that. If you want to affect the pads individually, you can come in here and click on samples and you can find, you can tune individual pads if you wanted to for whatever reason. Like I said earlier, if you was to copy a pad, so that I was to copy this pad into bank B here. So now I've got this pad here and in A and B. If I then change the start position of the chop to here, it's not going to affect the one in pad. Uh, pad one on bank A. It's going to go back to where it was. That's why I use pad parameters. It makes life easier. So yeah. So just a quick recap. I record a sound in normally with the sampler. Then I save it and I click keep, but I don't assign it to any programs or anything. I would just literally like record it in. Um, and then I wouldn't assign it to a program, I'd go to none and then keep, and then I'd go into sample edit, and here is where obviously you access all your samples that are in there, the one that we originally had here, and scroll through, and that's the what I just recorded with obviously nothing on it. And then I'd go into that, uh, click obviously where it says trim, but and then it changes to chop, this is already sliced, so I should be able to go through my slices like that. So then I'd slice all that up, shift, convert, new drum program using slices, pad parameters, and then do it. Obviously I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. But what's also handy is if you do it this way, you can then clear all of the slices if you wasn't happy with the way you chopped it. 
which I do a lot, but I keep the program, the original one, and then I'll re-chop it and then re-export, um, reconvert it into another group. So I'll chop it like, maybe like, So now I've only got eight slices. You can tidy it up or whatever, or you can tidy it up in program editor. Then convert new drum program using slices, slice type pad parameters, do it. And now we should have this thing called that with an extra one on it, because there's an extra one already named, so it doesn't fool you. And this one should stay yeah, as the original. And that is pretty much it. And then obviously I would lay something down here and then I would browse through my drum programs and then add in some drum programs. That's pretty much it.